Hola amigos, today I bring you a short quick tip on how to make a shader to paint two circles or arcs in 3D space, like the one being shown here. There are many ways to achieve this effect, but here I am using a material instance on a small plane attached to these characters. Let's jump into the material graph and see how it works. The first section, on the top left, generates the circle masks that we'll use to make the arc. Here I'm making two circles, and I added a parameter to control the radius of the smaller one. Subtracting one from the other will give us control over the width of the arc. The parameters on the circle mask node from top to bottom are the center of the circle, the source UV, the radius, and the hardness. I left a hardness of 1, but you can expose that to achieve different effects. Next, I want to show only part of that circle. I'll start by subtracting 0.5 from the UV set to center them. After that, I'll break the individual components and get the arc tangent. Note that I'm using the fast version of the node for performance reasons. That result will go from minus 1 to 1. And for my example, I want that to go from 0 to 1 in both directions because I want the angle center, so I'm using the absolute value of the arc tangent. If you want to use this instead as a circular progress bar, for example, you will need to add 1 and then divide by 2, so it goes from 0 to 1 instead. The next step, no pun intended, is to use a step function between the previous result and an exposed angle parameter. The step function will return 0 or 1 depending on which of those two values is higher. The last two operations remaining are two multiplications, the first one between the circle and the angle mask, and the second one with the RGB components of a color parameter, the result of which is connected to the emissive color of the output. After connecting the alpha value to the opacity output, the material is done. You can also add textures to this effect or a radial gradient, but this should be a good point to start. And that's all I have for today. This was a short one, but if you made it this far, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions about this tutorial.